former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is likely engaging in elder abuse so she can play kingmaker in the Senate. And that's according to insiders who spoke to Politico. Now the story revolves around Senator Dianne Feinstein who we all know needs to retire immediately. She returned to the Senate after being absent for two and a half months with a really bad shingles condition. When she was speaking to reporters recently and they asked about her time away, she seemed to have forgotten that she was away and denied it, said that she was in the Senate working the entire time. And of course, she has missed some pretty critical votes to confirm judges. Now, why hasn't the Democratic Senator retired? She is not doing well. Well, Politico reports that there was a clue on the day that she returned to the Senate because she was accompanied by a woman named Corrine Prada. And if you're wondering who she is, she's actually the oldest daughter of Nancy Pelosi's. Now, when Feinstein returned to the Senate last week, she was accompanied by Prada. Um, apparently, Prada has been basically living with Feinstein and playing a big role in the senator's life ever since her husband passed away. And not only did she escort Feinstein around the around Capitol Hill last week, she was again at her side yesterday helping aide surround the senator in Capitol Hill as reporters were trying to ask her questions. Now apparently Pelosi is acutely aware of just how bad Feinstein's condition is. But when Congressman Ro Khanna, and Dean Phillips, by the way, called on her to retire because clearly she's experiencing significant mental decline and now you can see physical decline as well. Nancy Pelosi responded with the statement, quote, I've never seen them go after a man who was sick in the Senate. Yeah, but we don't have, as far as I know, there's no male in the Senate right now who is unable to perform their duties due to permanent mental decline, due to honestly old age, right? Well, it turns out that Nancy Pelosi has a stake in the game. So let's talk about that a little bit. Politico writes this, Pelosi has endorsed Representative Adam Schiff, her longtime protege and former handpicked House Intelligence Committee chair to succeed Feinstein after her sixth and final term ends next year. Schiff is a household name in California and already has a $15 million campaign cash advantage over his nearest competitor. And so I wanna go to a video featuring our very own Jenk Uger, where he shares a bit of a prediction with us. Why don't the Democrats replace her? It's easy, Governor Newsom would do it, he's a Democrat. It's just the easiest thing in the world. Cuz they don't want a progressive in there and they're worried that someone, anyone, by definition will be more progressive than Dianne Feinstein. Because both her when she was of sound mind and apparently her chief of staff who's now the current senator are both deeply conservative. So they're like, oh, we love that. So they just wanna keep a corporate Democrat in there. And by the way, what did the Democrats ever do anyway? Nothing. So they're like, what do we need her for? We don't, we don't do anything. So the judicial nomination, some people are a little upset about. So let's pretend that we care about that, but not actually do anything. Which is of course the route that they have settled on. All right, so keep those words in your mind as I give you some more reporting from Politico. But if Feinstein were to bow to pressure and retire early, Adam Schiff's advantage would disappear. Governor Gavin Newsom has pledged to appoint a black woman to serve out her term. And one of Schiff's declared opponents, Representative Barbara Lee, would fit the bill. If Dianne Feinstein, they call her DiFi, resigns right now, there is an enormous probability that Barbara Lee gets appointed. Thus, it makes it harder for Schiff. One Pelosi family confidant said, adding that the relationship between Pelosi, her daughter, and the senator is being kept under wraps and very, very closely held. With that said, one more video from Jen Uger. The holdup is that Gavin Newsom earlier promised when he thought he didn't have to do it, that he would appoint a black woman. Well, who's the most logical black woman? Barbara Lee. Well, the problem is she's a progressive. And they would rather have all judicial appointments blocked than put a progressive into that seat. Mm -hmm. So Newsom right now is building a list of random African American females in California in order to not give it to Barbara Lee. I believe we have a hashtag for this Cenk Uger. Um, it's called hashtag Cenk was right. 
Well, I appreciate it, Anna. Uh, as I say every time when we get these right, guys, politics is not that hard to figure out. The establishment never wants a progressive. They'll do anything to avoid it. On other occasions, I also mentioned it's because uh, the establishment favors Adam Schiff. And we talked about it in the context of that race, uh, Adam Schiff versus Katie Porter and Adam Schiff versus Barbara Lee, specifically in regards to appointing Barbara Lee, the logical choice here. And by the way, I don't know who I would vote for between Barbara Lee and Katie Porter. But I do know Gavin Newsom definitely said he was gonna appoint a black woman. Barbara Lee is definitely the most qualified. There's no question about it. And I know that Gavin Newsom, every Democratic leader in California and Nancy Pelosi all want Adam Schiff. Why do they all want Adam Schiff? Because he's the most corrupt. He has taken the most corporate donations, will do whatever corporations tell him to do. And Gavin Newsom and Nancy Pelosi agree with that 100%. And they don't want this guy to lose. And they're like, damn it, we've got this black woman here. We don't want to be the senator, but we can't say that publicly because we love playing identity politics. Right. And ironically, Pelosi pulls the female card yes. on this very issue. That's what they do. They, yeah. Guys, the Democratic Party weaponizes identity all the time for their political gain. That is it. That is it. You think Nancy Pelosi cares about women? Uh, Come on. Not at all. Come on, guys. Come on. Look, that's some classic mainstream media stuff where they, oh, a champion of women. No, no, you got to show it in the bills. I don't care what your theater is. I don't care how you rep, rip up papers or you know or what kind of cloth you wear and all this nonsense. The nonsense. theater, the, theater, the yes. posturing. Yeah, and so uh, the minute that by the way, we've now got the question. There's one question uh, answer I didn't know, which was, well, who's the actual senator from California? I've asked that on the show about half a dozen times now, because that one, I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to know? That one's not easy to predict. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the chief of staff. I don't know if it's the communications director. It's, it turns out it's none of them. It's Nancy Pelosi. I know. It's guys. <laughs> it's so. It's so sick. It's so sick. Like I want you to really absorb. What this means, okay? Diane Feinstein is not in a good condition, both physically and mentally, okay? The fact that she didn't even know, remember that she had been out for two and a half months, they are they are exploiting her, they are using her. What Nancy Pelosi is doing is absolutely disgusting. It is disgusting. First of all, it's undemocratic, it's just gross. And so let's just go to some new reporting from the New York Times. That actually shed some additional light on how poor Nancy, uh, Diane Feinstein's health is right now. It's even worse than we knew. So they report, this came out today. The shingles spread to her face and neck, causing vision and balance impairments and facial paralysis known as Ramsey Hunt syndrome. The virus also brought on a previously unreported case of encephalitis, a rare but potentially debilitating complication of shingles, according to two people familiar with the senator's diagnosis who spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe it. I'm not done, there's more. Okay, let's go to the next graphic. Characterized by swelling of the brain. Come on. Post shingles encephalitis can leave patients with lasting memory or language problems, sleep disorders, bouts of confusion, mood disorders, which honestly explains a lot, headaches and difficulties walking. Older patients tend to have the most trouble recovering. And even before this latest illness, as we all know, Feinstein had already suffered substantial memory issues that had raised questions about her mental capacity. As what Nancy Pelosi is doing right now is disgusting and sick. So, uh, of course, no one in mainstream media will tell you that because that's obviously true. Because but they're that cowards would, and they like to would, provide cover for Pelosi. Right, that yeah. would make the powerful uncomfortable. Good, be uncomfortable. And, oh my God, a journalist. You, you can't make the powerful uncomfortable. What if they don't give you access? Why don't you go kiss their ass again? Okay, so listen, we, I am 100% against Republicans, but our job is to be honest, unlike apparently anyone else in media. And so uh, in this case, I'm not having a conversation about Diane Feinstein's mental health. It's over. She comes back from being out for all those months and she says, what, I wasn't out? It's over. I don't know or care if it's dementia or Alzheimer's or any of the above. She clearly has literally no idea what's going on. So this is beyond sick. It is incredibly deceptive. 
I don't find it to be like savvy politics that Nancy Pelosi installed her daughter as an illegitimate senator from California. No, I, I didn't vote for Nancy Pelosi's daughter. And guys, I'm also not having this conversation. Oh, The person next to Dianne Feinstein is always Nancy Pelosi's daughter. And Nancy Pelosi's daughter is the one who uh, is the Telling you what Feinstein thinks. No, it's even sicker okay. than that. No, she's the senator. Pelosi yeah. stole the seat. No, guys, but there's also another element to the story in that New York Times piece that's genuinely concerning to me because they report that two different family members tried to visit the senator and they were told that she didn't want to see anybody. She does, are you kidding me? I, I, are you kidding me? No, no, no. If you're a family member of Diane Feinstein, please go help your family member. Yes. And do not listen to sick politicians telling you you can't visit your family member because they'd like to take further advantage of her. Because Nancy Pelosi made a promise to Adam Schiff that don't worry, Adam, okay? All of us corrupt Democrats will stick together and we'll defeat that black woman, Barbara Lee, and the other woman, Katie Porter. Oh, by the way, I'm for women's rights. Get out of here, man. Deeply, deeply corrupt. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.